Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in our A to Z sewing technique series, we're going to be focusing on how to sew inseam pockets. The first thing we're going to do is match up our pockets to our side seams with right sides together, and we're going to stitch our pockets down with whatever seam allowance our side seam calls for. Once you've sewn both pocket bags, go ahead and give them a good press in the opposite direction and attach your pocket to your side seam seam allowance by giving it a quarter inch top stitch along that pocket edge. This extra stitch will help keep your pocket bag from trying to slip out whenever you are wearing your garment. Now we can start sewing our side seam and our pocket bag together. Starting at the top of our seam allowance, we are going to use whatever seam allowance our pattern calls for. Mine is a half of an inch, so I am sewing at a half of an inch all the way down until I get to the pocket bag and then where the half of an inch seam allowance meets from my side seam to the half of an inch on my pocket bag, that is the point that we are going to pivot at. And it's important to get a good clean point right there as that's going to make your garment look the best whenever you actually have it on and it's right side out. Once you get to the bottom of your pocket bag, you're going to do the exact same thing you did at the top and you are going to sew until you get to the point where your seam allowances meet each other from the side seam and the pocket bag and at that point you're going to pivot back to your side seam and then you can just continue sewing down the rest of what's left of your side seam. If you sewed your pockets correctly, then your pockets will look great on the inside as well as the outside. Here you can see what that top stitch looks like once the garment is finished and all sewn up. And obviously you're going to want to use a matching thread color so you don't see it, but as you can see here it is keeping my pocket bag from wanting to fall to the outside of the garment and it's also helping reduce a lot of the bulk that happens right there because there are so many layers of fabric at that point. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and check out some of my other videos in this technique series and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I upload the next one.